Okay, so I have these lights. These are well lights. I'm actually going to use them in the pond right on the edge just so um, I have some lighting that ha uh, lights up the cattails. So let me show you how I do it. This is my spool of 12 2 wire. I have taken it and just spliced it. I use these uh, cow term, they're called conduct tight. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. If you take it, there's a perfect spot on here that allows you to snip it. Nice, clean snip. So from here, I am going to take the razor blade and I am going to separate the 12 2 wire. I'm going to splice it so it looks like this. I'm going to take this right on the edge and I am going to splice it out. And then you see the copper. See? I'm going to take the other side right into the, the splicer that's right here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to splice it. Oh, do you want to see something cute? I don't know if you see that, but that right here, that's my golden doodle. He's frog hunting. He's the frog master. <laughs> and wait till the end sees that he's frog hunting and that he's got to give him a bath. Not me. <laughs> so you'll see him kind of curling around over there. That is not another animal. That is my dog. So a lot of these come with um, spliced a little bit, the wire showing. So I'm just going to take them down a little bit more so I have some stuff to work with. I'm going to use the same tool that I've been using. Splice it up a little bit. I'm going to take this. I'm going to wrap it around. The one thing I'm going to do differently than what um, I did on the last video is this time I'm going to waterproof them. And I'll show you what I mean when I'm done. So let me just wrap this. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking, kind of spinning them around, working them together, make sure that there is a tight connection. Some electrical tape. Just to keep it together on one side so now i have it electrical taped and i have another opening so now i'm going to take this spin that around each other kind of work it so now i have two connections I'm just going to electrical tape them together for some landscape wire that I have already done. And I did this purposely because I knew um, that I was going to add to it. And I just wanted to temporary, temporarily um, have something. These are not waterproof, so these are not meant to be put outside unless they have like a silicone in them. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a connection off of these. Okay. Let's make sure we got lights before I seal this. Dip it in seal and then we seal it up. So let me see if everything turns back on. We know we're successful. Yes, we have lights, lights. It's a good sign. So let's waterproof this puppy. Okay, the next stuff I am going to use is called liquid electrical tape. It's a water sealant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two connections. One isn't gonna sit in the water. This will sit pretty close to the water. So what I'm gonna do is Shake this stuff up. This creates like a, a hard silicone around it. So 
Dan taught me a trick instead of painting this puppy on. We're just going to dip it right into the container. So I'm going to take it like this. It is really strong with a smell. So we are going to take that, dip it right in. Hold it for a second. I'm doing it in a box because it just keeps the mess on there and it creates this silicone. It dries within five minutes. So this stuff dries up pretty quick. So I'm gonna let it drip for a minute, lay it in the box and work on the second one. So this is pretty much what it looks like as it's drying in there.